I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Foss on Kajin Cosplay and today we're starting a show that you ask us to watch, guy. You've been waiting for this! We are starting Better Call Saul! You got a problem, you knew who to call, guy. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> call Saul Goodman! But no, seriously, um, Breaking Bad is over. For the last couple of weeks, we've been watching fan-made videos and extra stuff because the withdrawal is real, guys. And uh, we've been waiting to start this show. Oh. Better Call Saul, we heard a lot about this. Apparently it's good, but it's different. I'm not afraid, I mean, with the job they did with Breaking Bad, I just want to see what they, what they can do with these characters. And this is going to be interesting because we already know the characters. We know where is it at right now, but yeah. now how you went there to the first place. So the attachment to, the, to Saul is there already. So no need to... To introduce him to us, just show us a new, a new facet of his character. Show us the new Saul, the guy we never got to see. Ah, uh, <laughs> all right. Apart, from, apart from the side, apart from the the fact that it's a prequel, I know nothing about what we're gonna see here. I know Mike's coming back. I know that it's a prequel, and I think by the end of it, it's gonna be a sequel. Um, you think it, yeah, it's gonna turn into what, a sequel? That, that, that's what I heard. Okay. And I know that we're going to see lots of characters from Breaking Bad. Callbacks and stuff. I'm Obviously. okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. So we're starting Better Call Saul. This show is going to be two times a week with the early access on Patreon and the full reaction also available on that site. So Every Wednesday and Friday on YouTube, guys. Yes. Wednesdays and Fridays. So don't mix it up. I know some people are already asking me where Better Call Saul is. It's coming this Wednesday. So, well, today actually. So there you go. So without further ado, let's jump into Uno, dos, tres. Uno, the first episode of Better Call Saul Season 1. Let's see where he is, what he's doing. Let's go. All right. Gene, the manager. Ah! <laughs> so that's the ref where the reference is coming from. What reference? At the end of uh, Breaking Bad, he said that he's gonna uh, work in the, uh, in the bakery or something. In a roll uh, place. Oh, is it the end of the? Is it the end of Breaking Bad? Of Breaking Bad. Honey child, I ain't even got a trace of it. Oh my God, he seems so bored. I'd give anything in the world. It's really Just nice that they put everything in black and white because he is bored, technically. And with everything that happened, he's probably like I been looking over his shoulder and nervous a little bit. You think that you would never be hard That's the thing, like, this is something we're also gonna see in El Camino. I mean, these guys, they won't ever stop being paranoid. It's actually really sad to see him so different. This guy is usually so lively. <laughs> Don't let false allegations bully you into an unfair fight. Hi, oh. I'm Saul Goodman, and I will do the fighting for you. For they Sandy keep him blurred and stuff. <laughs> he misses I'll that life. Well, of course he misses it. Why? I'm Saul Goodman, and I'm here to tell you that they're wrong. It's never too late for justice. Better call. It breaks my heart a little bit. Oh. You can clearly see, like, he wishes he could go back. Like, those were the days. Oh, to be 19 again. With me, ladies and gentlemen, do you remember 19? If I were held accountable for some of the stupid decisions I made when I was 19. Oh, oh boy, wow. <laughs> or after. <laughs> and I bet if we were in church right now, I'd get a big amen. Now, these three knuckleheads, and I'm sorry, boys, but that's what you are. They did a dumb thing. We're not denying that. I don't know. Call me crazy. But I don't think they deserve to have their bright futures ruined by a momentary, minute, never-to-be-repeated lapse of judgment. Ladies and gentlemen, you're bigger than that. <laughs> He's really good! <laughs> I 
And they were drunk while they were doing that? They sound pretty clear-headed. What the hell kind of math is that? 700 per defense. No, no, no. Defendant. Dent. Three defendants, 2100. Which, by the way, bargain what I did for them. They're going to jail, ain't they? So since when does that matter? <laughs> they had sex with a head! That's the thing. He's really good, but he defends people who do crazy dumb shit like that. He's a nice speaker. In the future, he knows a lot about the law and, and how to walk or, or around it and stuff, yeah. but, uh... <clears throat> Three dollars. Uh, I'm validated. See the stickers? Well, I see five stickers. You're one shy. It's three dollars. I was in that court back there, saving people's lives, so... Ah! I knew I recognized this voice! Go back inside and you get an additional sticker. Son of a bitch. Back up! I have to back up! I need more stickers! Don't have enough well, stickers! Well, I mean, he still needs to pretend Thank he has a job, go. maybe? Very I don't know nice. if he works for Gus already. It's so good to see him back, though! <laughs> oh, no. And I mean, he was a police officer. This is a courthouse, so... Makes sense. Maybe he's in suspension right now? Go run it again! No, 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 it's paid out. Run it again. Oh! I thought it went on for too long. Jesus Christ! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, look at me. Buddy, look oh, at me. and someone okay? recorded it? Something. What did you do? I did. What did you do to my brother? Hand me to the. Ah! Oh, oh, it's broke. Oh. It's my leg. broke his leg. It's my leg. Why are you driving around and not looking? I'm doing don't it myself. Call the police. Don't call the police. Don't call the cops. No. How are you going to fix this? What are you going to do to make things right? It's almost like it's a scam or something. I think that is $500. Just... You think it's a scam? 500 bucks. If his leg was truly broken... And he's so he's so overreacting, and he was recording. Was Starlight Express. I'm gonna give you a 9.6 protecting, 0, 0.0 for choice of victim. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> now let's talk about what you owe me for the windshield. Yeah, they so totally you, try to scam him. He doesn't need that. Take a check. And by the way, Vince Gilligan <laughs> really loves to destroy windshields. <laughs> Is that the salon he tried to buy for Teddy? It is. But it looks like it. Oh my Isn't god. That? That's oh, his, that's his office. office. Oh my god, he's come a long way after this. Holy shit. Shit. No wonder now he's sitting in Nebraska, like Nevada, Nebraska, Nebraska, thinking of his his time as Saul Goodman. Oh shit! So I'm I'm guessing he he's just doesn't win you cases. Zero messages. Because he's a lawyer, but if he was winning cases, he'd, he'd have a lot more money and a lot more uh, contracts. Yeah. Now he's kind of forced to work for the lowest of the low because he doesn't win. I still can't believe that his first name is really Jamie McGill. James. Oh my freaking god. McGill. McGill. Yeah, not Miguel. <laughs> no. The question I can't keep from asking here is how is this gonna change? What is he gonna do? We know he's got the skills, but maybe he lacks the um, confidence. This again is good to take a character from point A and make a long journey to point B. Yeah. A journey that is exciting and well complex. Aren't you scared that someone's gonna take it? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ground yourself. 
Yes, I grounded myself. What's happening? <laughs> Is that Chuck? Chuck doing experiments and stuff on it? Whoa, okay. Because, I mean, in order to enter the house, he needs to shock himself and stuff, like, so he doesn't... Ugh. Oh, that's why! Um, you gotta cash out. You gotta, again? Really? There's no other way. I know that you don't want to hear it, but you've got to. You know I'm going to beat this. You know I'm going to get better. Does he have cancer, too? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> In order to pay out my share, suppose my partners are forced to liquidate the firm. Then what? That's their problem. My clients are out in the cold. My cases are scattered to the winds. 126 people lose their jobs. What happens to your cronies in the mailroom? The assistants, the paralegals, the janitorial staff, all of them out on the street. Your friend Kim, a promising career. Over and done with. Pamela He's got a good heart. Everything. You built that place single-handedly. Chuck, I'm going under, okay? For the third time with these bullcrap contract counsel. Bullcrap. Bullcrap pissant PD cases at 700 bucks Public a defender work is some of the best experience there is. Yeah, I might as well head down to Skid Row and sell plasma. You're representing people who have nowhere else to turn. Mm. The money is beside the point. Money is not beside the point. Money is the point. I keep telling you, have patience. There are no shortcuts. Do good work and the clients will come. The clients will come. will come. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's so good. God. I understand that you're trying to look out for me. But you're missing the bigger picture. I got it. Speaking of which, Howard brought this. He's concerned. Well, you have to admit it could be confusing. Hamlin Hamlin McGill, James M. McGill. That's my name. I was born with it. I... Still. That's why I changed name. Wouldn't you rather build your own identity? Why ride on someone else's coattails? Holy shit, no one's helping him! Feels like taking matters in his own hand and helping himself. Oh my god, I mean, I think there is a reason why we don't hear about his past or family in Breaking Bad. I tell you mm -hmm. about a young guy. Actually, it's about your age. Is he talking about himself? Slippin' Jimmy. Maybe. Everybody. Slippin' Jimmy. You pick a spot, wait for it to get busy, and you walk out on the ice, and boom! He would biff it so hard, people would come running from five blocks away. At one good fall, he clears six, eight grand. That'd keep him in old Milwaukee and Maui Waui right through Labor Day. Eight grand? Eight grand. He but used to be like them. Best day ever. You know the tricks. I got a job for you. That's two grand sound. Holy shit! So even as a teenager, he used to Street. mess around with the system. Forget the Betsy Kettleman's her name. Every weekday between two twenty-five and two fifty, she comes through here on her way to pick up her kids at Kit Carson Elementary. You come shooting out of there and do what you did to me. You go ass over tea kettle. You make it a blue ribbon special. When she gets out of the car, you're suffering St. Sebastian. Now, I'm Mrs. K's white knight. We go mano a mano. You light into me. You get nasty. When do we get our money? You get paid when I get paid. I'm the rising tide that raises all dinghies. Now, pop quiz, what's the car? Mercury Sable Wagon. Baby Poop Brown. Okay, do you know me? <laughs> Poop Brown? No. Damn straight. Go with God. I wonder if it's going to work. Because he's basically You're making nice. himself up to have clients, customers. I'm just glad I happen to be passing by. She never stopped. Come on already. What is she doing? Is she making a sandwich? Where's her sense of responsibility? What? What? Hey! She... Oh no, they totally have a case here though. And they remember the plate number? They know the plate number so they can just say we saw it. They they have an actual case. <laughs> he, not, he filmed it technically. <laughs> okay, wait, she she hit and run. That's what I'm saying. She bailed and wailed. Uh, okay, you got a just case? <laughs> stay where you are, I'll come get you. No, no, no. Screw that, man. We're following her. Yo, how we you're following her how? We got our ways, yo. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But 
honestly, she was really dumb to think that she could. What? I can't. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, yo, hold up. Hey, yeah, hey, what is the matter with you? You hit you and run. Ran him over. You fell in here. Wrong car. You did, you did that to me. Now you pay. No, wrong car. Make with the dinero. 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 See, righteous dinero. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Is that what you're broken? Is it the same car you think? Does that money? I don't think it would be her. It's not her. The the one who was young and short brown. Yeah, I know it's not her that, that that was supposed to hit them, but either they got the wrong car, they saw it coming and then they did the thing and it was her or the windshield is not broken and they just followed the wrong person. This is Oh no, it was her! So, uh... They just... Oh, so she doesn't have any money to give them. Wrong... Wrong car. I mean, it's yeah. so similar, but wrong car. Open up, officer of the court! Open up in the name of the law! <laughs> Good afternoon, this... Oh. Wait. That... That shirt... No, that's she called him he, uh, my, my son. So I don't know if it's his mom. Holy shit! <laughs> that was too cool, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, when I saw his shirt, I had no idea. But he, he used to wear stuff like this. So when I just saw his uh, his head with the gun and then the shirt, I was like, it can't be too cool, right? I didn't say it, but I'm like, the shirt was so similar. It's actually him. <laughs> I don't know if it's his mom. I think it might be his mom because he's. I mean, I don't know. You think it, is it she called she called him he I can't say it. He ho he ho son. She called him son. So but it could also be his grandma, but he's old enough for her to be his mom, so Oh my god This is like they're not gonna pay. You just know they're not gonna pay. So they're in won't. deep trouble. Just because she happened to be driving the same freaking car as that woman. <laughs> So, oh, what did you do? <laughs> he's still alive in the future, so he's gonna manage somehow, but... Holy shit. Alright, but, okay. Right now, we know... I, like I said, this episode is doing a really good job at hooking us up. They're introducing elements of the story. Not enough for us to understand everything, but just enough to spike our cur curiosity here. Yeah. So, I, I have a feeling that maybe... He branched out somehow, like his family's doing really well. I, I think Chuck might be his brother. And uh, he's a really good... He wouldn't call his father, his father yeah, Chuck. Yeah, that's the thing. I so think, And yeah. he's got the same not last name. So he's really good, a, a really good lawyer. So there are lawyers in the family. Um, I think, I have a feeling that... I, I want to call him Saul, but I'm like, Jimmy? I don't know. <laughs> he, James McGill. I'll call him Saul because this is still Saul in my, in my heart. Uh, Saul and your soul is the Saul. I feel I don't know if it's gonna be more important in the future, but I almost feel like he wants to detach from his last name. You know, he's uh, quick to say like, "Ah, call me Jimmy." I know it's it's politeness and just you know to create the bond like with yeah. his customers, but it's almost like he doesn't want that affiliation because he wants to succeed on his own. He doesn't want people to just say, uh, you know, I mean, you're that lawyer, you're the brother of this guy, and oh, you're affiliated to this. So he doesn't really want people to to say uh, to say oh, okay you're good because you're part of that family he just wants to be good for who he is i feel that's that's maybe a part of his character as a lawyer and as a person i think that is define himself yeah by it and now but I mean, to change his name for that they're they're stealing his name and stuff like although i didn't really get that part like what was uh that match thing like someone else has his name that's for sure but uh I, I, I still think it's shitty that he has to change his name. So uh, anyway, but uh, it, it's going to lead him to be Saul Goodman. So that's good. But considering that he's he's losing right now, he's not doing anything great and he doesn't have much money. He has a good heart. Like he's really got the heart. He's helping out Chuck. He's paying for them both. But I can understand why money is, is important to him. Whereas for Chuck, 
money is not everything. Chuck has a really good heart too. Like he's saying that public defending is the best thing you could you could do, helping people who don't really have the means to help, uh, to be helped. Sorry, which is something that eventually Saul is gonna do in the future. Help out the ones that don't that can't pay for the top lawyers. Because uh, I mean, if he's used to this, maybe that's how he's gonna go in that in that Recharge department. Them, yeah, because yeah, he knows that there are tons of people who cannot afford the top lawyers, but he has the background, he has the knowledge too, even though right now it looks like he's not winning any cases. And um yeah. how could you have won a case where you got evidence of three young That's adults doing the deed with a with the head. head. That's the thing, like when you see we when you see him in the uh in, in the opening here, he's uh really good like he talks with these people and, and it's almost like it's natural even though we saw him practice i was believing him though when he said that uh, when you're young not 19 years old you're doing shit yeah that's the thing and why destroying the future of three bright young men and then you start a video that's the thing we we want to believe him but then we see the evidence of what they did and and you, you kind of realize that it's not that he's not good it's that the circumstances are not good for him right now and he's really trying, but yeah, faith is not with him. Although, I mean, you can totally see that he's already, he's got a liking to crossing the law because he knows it so much that it's he easy for him. He used to do him. it so much when he was younger. Yeah, and it's it's incredible to see this past because this character, I mean, he's he was the heart kind of, well, not the heart, but the comedic relief of Breaking Bad. So to see that he was also a human being and also someone with a past and with a family that's been through some shit, it just gives so much more layers to his character. And we're, we're barely into this. Like, this is for just the first episode. So I'm really excited for this. I Already episode one, we learned a lot and we saw a lot of characters. Mike working at the courthouse. <laughs> Holy shit! That was that might have been um, before Gus. I think that I understand why a few of you guys said that the beginning of the series was a bit slow. I can totally see why. Because uh. if you imagine for a second that you didn't know nothing about Breaking Bad and of Saul Goodman, the first episode might have been a bit slow. True, it's because you don't recognize the reference anywhere. Well, obviously, I hope no one is watching Better Call Saul without having seen Breaking Bad. Although. The references are there, but they're not needed to understand what's going on. Yeah. Uh, although, I might, well, the opening scene might need a little backstory, though, because uh, this is directly linked to Breaking Bad, which is sad, too, like, to see that now he's just going through his day and, and existing. He's not really living. Uh, he's, I feel like he's sad that he lost everything he worked for. Aren't we all, technically? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... I think this show is still, un I mean, it's still doable. Like, you can still understand the story without having seen Breaking Bad, but the whole experience is much more enjoyable if you've seen the I first mean, one. come so. on. We wouldn't have wrecked at all if we didn't know Tuco before seeing... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, yeah, seeing Tuco here with Breaking Bad in our, fresh in our minds, this is like, whoa! But without him, without knowing him before, it would have been just like... Oh shit, a gun. <laughs> but uh But now we know deep shit is coming, guys. Of course. I mean this is still this is not breaking bad, but it's the same universe, so Okay, so I'm interested. I have a lot of questions about what's going on, who in the family is who and and uh why is he the only one that's not part of anything? Like why is he the one that has to struggle so much? Uh, although I mean Chuck Steve seems to struggle too. Maybe because but... cases. Yeah, that's the thing. But Chuck still seems to be struggling as well. It's just that he doesn't acknowledge it. What does he have, do you think? He's saying he's he going to get better. better. But from what? Maybe he has cancer, too. That'd be really... Not funny, but that'd be a big coincidence. What would be the thing with the electronics, then? It's something he's doing. Maybe he's trying to heal himself with uh, electromagnetic fields and stuff. Who knows, guys? I mean, I'm not. I'm not in his head. But could be a th could be a thing. Anyway, I'm really really excited about what's gonna happen next episode with Tuco. So because I missed this guy, I didn't miss it, what he's doing to our boys, but I missed the guy anyway. 
So let's jump into the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this one with us. If you want to see episode 2 right away, it's already on Patreon. The link is in the description. So you know what to do, guys. If you want to watch it now, you just go down there, you click and you subscribe. And if not, you need to wait for Friday to come to watch the second part on YouTube, guys. Yes. So see Bye -bye. you then. Bye, guys. Bye.